we'll open up for questions. Let's begin with Mike Singer. Mike, go ahead. Nicola, kind of like last game, uh, you know, you, you rarely show emotion, but after the game, we saw you smiling, hugging your guys. We saw the water bottles in the locker room. How much fun was this comeback to, to, to create and to facilitate? I mean, it's uh, just a uh, fun, uh, you know, the, the journey. 3-1 uh, Utah, 3-1 uh, Clippers. We come back. We, I just, like I said, uh, like I had a really, uh, I wanted to say something before the game, like whatever we do, I'm going to remember this team. But I didn't uh, because it, this is a really interesting team. The, we don't have a first pick. We don't have, no, we don't have any kind of superstars. Everybody is working to get to where, where they're at. So and we, we it just um, when, when when we won the game, I felt I felt just relief of we did it, you know. So it was a it was a good feeling. All right, next we'll go to Katie Wingy. Katie, go ahead. Nicola, you say you're going to remember this team. What is your favorite part of being a part of this group? What makes it so special? Not quitting, you know. It's uh, I don't know how we do it. I don't know what kind of start us off but we we are just uh, kind of not accepting that someone is better than us we are just trying like if they can of course win us they will beat us but they, they will need to beat us they will need to, to play much better than us you know that like today i think the hold the hold that team to how many points 90 89 95 how many points 89 it's it's amazing, you know. So the whole team effort was amazing. Rebounding is was amazing. So just uh, when we start playing for each other, and you see the ball is flowing in defense, everybody's got everybody back. It's just um, it's really fun to be a, a part of that group of people. All right. Next, we'll go to Mark Kisla. Mark, go ahead. You've been through must much of this journey with uh, Jamal Murray. Um, what do you love most about him? How important was he to you in this game? And and is he like your basketball brother? Or is that going too far? Uh, I mean, yeah, he's a, he's a competitor. He's a, like, he's a really competitive guy. He, we, we, we as, a, as a duo, went through, through everything. But I, I don't want to put this, it's, it's not just me and Jamal. It's, Everybody, it's really everybody, and uh, I'm so happy that uh, everybody accept their roles and everybody uh, accept who they are in the most important time in time in in, in, in the season. So it's just uh, it's not just me and him. It's not just me. It's not just him. It's it's not coach. Coach. It, it's everybody. It's every Denver Nuggets. All right. Next, we'll go to Dave McMiniman. Dave, go ahead. Nicola, Michael mentioned that you guys have been down here, I think, 71 days together at this point. Was there a, a moment that you looked to where it shifted, where it was, let's come down here and be professionals, to let's come down here and, and really do something that we'll remember forever? I mean, when the, when the game, when the, when the game is, is, when, the, when the ref throws the ball in the air and it, it's a tip-off, you want to win every game, you know. So... You want to be. You want to beat everybody. So, yes, yes. It's a lot. It's a lot of days. Yes, we miss everybody. Uh, our families. Yes, it's sometimes it's boring. Sometimes it's just too much. And but when the, when the ball is out there and we we are, we are playing, it's you always want to win the game. All right. Next, we'll go to Jeff Zilgit. Jeff, go ahead. The movement and passing is so much a part of your offense, but what, what, what did you see there in the third quarter that allowed you guys, especially you, to find so many open cutters going to the bucket? I mean, they were, they were doubling me a lot, so we, I think today was the uh, way that we kind of figured out, oh, we have this open, oh, we have this open. And then when you have uh, two layups, then you're going to have open three, then you're just a uh, kind of wheel, you know. So I think we, today was... Everybody was on the same page. Like when he, when they go to double, when they won the blitz, Jamal was really good with the pocket pass. I think we were just uh, we figured it out in the in the perfect moment. 
All right, next we'll go to TJ McBride. TJ, go ahead. Hey, Nicola, congrats on the win. You kind of touched on it, but how important has Michael Malone been in keeping this team together and keeping the belief high no matter what the circumstance is? Mm, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not – it's every little, every single person in, in our team. Uh, he's, he's the one who is uh, – uh, it's his birthday, of course, but uh, uh, he's the one who is – ready for every single they they cannot put a play on the court that he doesn't know what's going to happen he's 100 percent ready for the game he's uh, he's he's a study he, he's a study maniac he he's ready for every game and i know and, and i know and i truly believe that whenever we have a like a bad game i think he will always find the, the solution for next game so I really truly, really truly believe in him, and uh, he's a he's a big part of the Denver Nuggets. All right, we have time for one more here. We'll end with Nick Cosmider. Nick, go ahead. Yeah, Nicole. On that note, what do you get your coach for his birthday on the night he takes his team to the Western Conference Finals? No, no, I gave him a Western Conference Finals. That's the, <laughs> before, before the before the game. I told him, Coach, I'm gonna give you a, have a really good present. I'm gonna get you home, or I'm gonna get you Western Conference Finals. <laughs> So. <laughs> All right, Nicole, we appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, it was a pleasure, like always.